say it to the people. Welcome to body sculpting, the short version. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Some kids just don't want to perform, you know what I mean? <laughs> All right, so let's get started. Good morning and welcome to body yes, sculpting. Let's make sure our head is over our tailbone and uh, we have our legs, uh, our legs shoulder width apart, slightly pointed out. As we breathe it up three times, take it up and down. We'll hit the top of the screen up and down. And last time up and down. Let's take it across. So let's go. We've got it. Keep going. Four and three and two across the chest. Open up. Yay. Good job. Four more. Four and three and two and up for four. Take it one and two and three and four across. One and two. And he's just going to stay there. Take it up for two. And across for two, take it up for two, and across for two. Let's do it one more time. Up and across. Hands on the hips, bend point, slow down. Yeah, we've got it. We want to get precise here. Four and three and two. Let's add the alternating shoulder rolls forward to begin, and then from the back to the front. Good. And then we take it out into our big wide stance. Make sure your legs are pointed out side slightly. Take it down, reach across. Take it down, reach across. Take it down, reach across. Last time, it's up and over, big wide stretch. Big, big, big stretch, pull it out of your hip. Put your hand down, grab your ear, crack, and take it across. Right. Make sure that you're aligned when you do this and not drop forward. Or maybe I'm just talking to myself. Come back to the center for four and three and two, and one, let's do the other side. Take it down and across, down and across, down and across. Last time, it's up and over. Good, hold that lift. Take it down and over. And come back to the center, let's lunge it. Good, I'm working through obstacles, here we go. Four and three and two, and sit it over here on one. Sit behind your knee, make sure you have a long line from your head to your tailbone. This isn't going to work. And hold it right there. Keep going inside the space. Thank you. And then turn and lunge. Lift your hip, push through your heel. Good. Eyes ahead on the floor. Don't lift or lower your head. Slide it in those to me. Sorry, buddy, you're in the way. Good. That doesn't make you move, huh? And come back on your heel. So you want to make sure the feet are both facing the same direction and then you're getting that hamstring stretch. Come around into a sumo squat, roll your shoulders around and make sure you twist from the hip and look over to the other side. And switch. And let's take it to the center for two. It's one and two and one and two and one and two and singles up and over. Take it up and up, and up, and out, and all top of our bottom four, and three, and two, and one. Now we slide over like we did to the other side. Make sure the knee is behind the ankle. Good, hold the stretch, toes are up on the other side. Good, hold it there, pivot, and extend it. Hold the stretch, pull the hip up, push through the heel, slide it in nose to knee, and come back on your heel. Nice. Pivot to the front. Take your left hand over to your right ankle and pull yourself down. Flat hands to the center. Wag your tail. Wag your tail. And then over to the other. Uh, wag your tail. And then over to the other side. Come back to the center. Soften your knees. Shrug it right and left. You've got it. Good. Roll the shoulders back. Roll the shoulders forward. Lift it up. So you extend that chest. And then breathe it up three times. And down, two more up. And down, last time up. And down, and let's grab some weights. We're gonna do squats with a lift. Now, one of the things that these come from is plyos. So plyos would normally be this, you know, lifting off the floor. But we're dealing with all kinds of knee stuff, so we're gonna go into a toe raise. So let's do about 30 of these, and then we'll move on to other things. Keep your legs hip width apart. So we're going to cut. We're going to try to have a wide center. Make sure you sit back. Sit back. Lift to the toes. Sit back. Lift to the toes. Now, one of the things keep going is you don't want to throw your pelvis forward, right? You just want to lift straight up to the ceiling. 
five, good, six, good job, seven, eight, nice, nine, take it all the way up, 10, let's do 20 more, 20, 19, 18, good, 17, perfect, 16, 15, good, 14, so we're getting, keep going, 13, we're getting some good calf, 12, keep going, 11, so hold it up there, 10, make sure the foot doesn't shift out or in, 9, we'll have a pulse at the bottom at the end, 8, 7, 6, good job, 5, 4, 3, 2, and hold it down here for 20. 19, let your front of your feet lift a little bit as you push into your heels, good. 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 18, we'll move. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, and bring it up. Now we're going to go down for a two count and pulse up for a two count. So it looks like this. Push back one, two, lift one, two. One, two, two. One, two, three. Do it twice. One, two. So here we got balance again. Four. I seem to work that into all my workouts, no matter what we're doing. Six. One, two, seven. One, two. Lift, lift, eight. One, two. Lift, nine. One, two. Two pulses up here. Ten. One, two. 11, 1, 2, 12, 1, 2, 13, 1, 2, 14. Of course, you don't have to be weighted. 1, 2, 15 if you don't want to. Halfway through, 1, 2, 16, 1, 2, 17, 1, 2, 18, 1, 2, 19, 1, 2, 10 more, 1, 2, 10. One, two, nine, one, two, eight, one, two, seven, one, two, six. Now your pulse is gonna be at the top this time. Five, one, two, four, one, two, three, one, two, two, one, two, hold it up here, 20. Pulse at 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, you're on both toes, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and lower down on one. Now, we're going back to the beginning, but we're keeping the left heel off the floor throughout the entire workout. So when you have one leg lifted, you want to take it back just a smidgen to be across from the instep, and that keeps the knees more even. So we take it down, lift up. So you're lifting up on one toe. The other one's already up. Three, nice. Four, good. Five, make sure you shifted that lifted foot back. Six, otherwise you're gonna have your knee pushing over your ankle. Seven, good. Eight, nine, 10, 20 more. 20, and we'll have a pulse downward at the end of this. 19. 18, 17, 16, good, 15, 14, good job, 13, you've got it, 12, lift, 11, 10, 9, nice, 8, 7, keep your chest lifted, 6, it's pushed back, not a hinge over, 5, Four, three, lift, two, lift up, take it down here for 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1, lift it up, put the heel down, make the feet even again, then you're going to go to the other side. Put the other foot on your toe, slide it back to be across the instep or the heel, depending on where 
your lunge or your squat happens, take it down, lift up. You wanna double check your knees, two, three, good job, four, nice, five, six, good, seven, lift, eight, nine, 10, 20 more, 20, 19, 18, good job, 17, 16, 15, 14, good job, 13, 12, 11, 10, and we're gonna pulse it down at the end, nine at the bottom, eight, good, seven, six, five, four, good job, three, two, here we go, one, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, and 2, and 1, stand up and lower that foot. Now, we're going to do it with the heels off the ground on both legs. Lift your heels up, right? At any time you need to go back to the original, go ahead, because this is balance and power. So heels off the floor, down and lift. Two, don't let the heels come down. Three, good. Four, good job. Five, six, seven, keep lifting, eight, nine, 10, let's do 20 more, 20, sit back. So you make sure 19, that your knees aren't pushing forward even though you're on your toes, 17. That changes the balance a little bit, 16, so you really have to push back more, 15, really push back, 14, that glute is going to the wall, 13, 12, 11, 10, good, 9, 8, 7, we got that calf singing, 6, balance going on, 5, 4, good job, 3, 2, here we go, 20, 19, 18, get rid of your weights, 17, 16, stay on for your heels, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, and 2, and lower your heels on one. Bring it up, shake it out. We still got more to do. Good. So you're coming down into your squat. You're taking one foot onto the heel, and we're going to push down. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Now, here's why we don't have the weights, because we're going to take it down and up. 2, nice. Keep that heel into the floor. 3, you don't go on the toes at all. 4, and 5. And six, you can have small weights if you want to, seven, but I'm concerned about your shoulders, eight, so we're playing it safe there. Nine, 10, good job. One, two, sit it back, don't hinge at the hip. Three, it's going to come down lower, but not because you're hinging, four, because you're pushing back. Five, six, good, seven, eight, Good, nine, make sure both knees are in alignment. So if you need to push that foot back, go ahead. 20, 10 more, 10, nice. So you don't wanna lean on that front. You don't wanna lean on that heel. You want it to be even, right? Come on, five more, four, three, good job. Two, and one, slide it in and sit it down. You come down to your squat. Other heel onto the floor, push it 20, 19, 18, 
17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, and 2, and 1. Hands go down. 1, come on. 2, you've got it. 3, good. 4, so remember, keep going. 5, every angle that we do, 6, is going to hit us a different way. 7, so this won't have the same result as a regular squat. 8, because you're emphasizing certain muscles in flexion and extension. 9, 10, 20 more. 20, 19, 18, 17, nice, 16, 15, 14, 13, sit behind it, 12, 11, 10, your weight should not be on one leg or the other, 9, 8, 7, good, 6, 5, 4, good, 3, Two and one, flatten that foot. Now, we're gonna do some holds with different variations. I'm gonna call right and left, but you can do any side as long as you're doing one thing on one side and one thing on the other. Don't worry about if you're matching right or left. So come on down. So on the right heel, or heels lifted, on the left toe is lifted. So you have a heel lift and a toe lift, pulse down. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Now we're going to switch. Left heel, right toe. Get your balance. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Switch again. Left heel or uh, left toe, right heel. Lift it. Going for ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now switch it. Left heel, right toe. Good. Ten, nine. You'll find out that you have better capacity on one side than the other. Five, four, three, two, and one, and switch it. Toe and heel. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, heel and toe. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, switch. Four, one, two, three, four, switch. One, two, three, four, switch. We're gonna do four again. Heel up, toe up. One, two, three, four, switch. Heel up, toe up, toe up, heel up. One, two, three, four, we're going for twos. So heel up, toe up. One, two, heel up, toe up. One, two, heel up, toe up. One, two, toe up, heel up. One, two, keep switching it. One, two, nice. One, two, good. One, two, good. One, two, last one. One, two, and toe up, heel up. One, two, and bring yourself up. Let's shake out those legs. All right, we did calf work. We did hamstring work. We did quad work, and we did glute work. Good. So let's hold it right there. All right, we're going to the accordion squeeze box uh, routine. So you wanna go a little lighter on your weights, not much. You're going to stand in a staggered position. Not, don't put your feet too far back. This is just to balance your body in the middle and to protect your back. Bring the weights up beside your ears, dumbbell heads going side to side. Elbows come together and out. So, up beside your ears is a rear deltoid workout. Good. Four, five, inhale, exhale, six, exhale up, seven. Loose hold on the weights, eight. Don't over grip them. Nine, keep those weights high. 10, 20 more. 20, 
19, 18, 17, good. At first it might feel easy, 16, but we're gonna be here for a minute, 15, 14, so it'll get heavy, 13, 12, 11, 10, good job, 9, 8, good, 7, 6, good, 5, it should be clicking in now. Now one of the things for, don't put that head forward to avoid the weight, make sure your head is over your tailbone, 2, and 1, and pulse at 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, so wrists are long, right? Don't let it drop back. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Switch sides with your uh, stagger. Keep your weight in the middle. Don't let it fall back. That's one of the things we often want to do. So keep it in the middle. All right, we're going to take it in and then push up. So bring it in, push up, down, and one. In, push up, down, and two. In, push up down and three. So your goal is push up, down and four to get those elbows close, not those hands. Not that you're not doing the hands. I just don't want you to lead with the hands. Six, because what that does is create that point. Seven, lift, lower. So you keep it even. Eight, lift, lower. Nine, lift, lower. 10, lift, lower. 20. Now you can go not a 19 without weights, if you start to feel really blasted, 17, because these burn, right? 16, 15, 14, you can go get some cans if you need to go lighter. Uh, 13, good. 12, 11, keep going. So you wanna keep that 90 degree bend in the front and really suggest a 45. Eight, lift. Seven, lift, don't take it all the way out. Six, five, here we go. Four, you ready for the pulse? Three, two, and one, let's go. 20, 19, so go straight up. 17, not behind you, 16. A lot of people have a 10 tendency to drop the weight behind. 15, 14, 13, keep it even, 12, 11, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, and two, and one, and lower it down, switch legs. All right, roll the shoulders back just to get some good feeling in there, and roll them forward. I love squeeze box. Now we're going to do one bicep at a time, so let's put the weight down. We can rest that arm, take the other arm out, whatever arm you choose, curl, and one curl and two, curl and three. Keep it all high and uh, in good technique. So six, all the way out, seven. So the all the way out makes you gather it, eight. So that's the work. So letting it go and then bringing it back in nine, gather it in 10, good job. 20, 19, good. 18, 17, again, your head on the spine, 16, 15. We're feeling this also in the shoulder because we're holding it up. Good, uh, let's say 12, 12, good. 11, 10, stay on the toe in the back so you don't lean on it. Nine, eight, take it all the way out. Don't go, don't ruin your <laughs> technique because you're getting tired, right? Uh, let's say six, five, I'm just making the numbers up while I talk, four, sometimes I remember three, and two, and one, all the way out, let's go to the other side. You can roll that shoulder back and roll it forward, we're coming back to it soon, take it out, one, two, all the way up, three, why do I put my hand on my low hip, four? to keep my shoulders even. Not up here because that shrugs them up. Seven, eight, good, nine, 10, 20 more, 20, 
always working on the frame of our body, nine, uh, 19, 18, 17, 18, 16, inhale and exhale out, 15, that's the push, 14, good, 13, push it, 12, nice, 11, good, 10, 9, 8, woo, 7, good, 6, so uh, on regular biceps, we exhale on the up because we're pulling up from gravity, but here we're holding gravity and one. Let's go to the other side. So we exhale on the way down. All right, bring it up to 90 right here. Lift for 20, 20, 19. Try not to unbend the elbow. 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, two and one, let's go to the other side. One of the things I saw happening with me is my arms started drifting forward and I had to correct myself back to here. That might be happening to you, it might not. Let's go. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, dumbbell head front and back, 13, 14, uh, 12, 11, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, lifting from the shoulder, five, four, three, two, and one, lower it down. We've got half a squeeze box. Kicking it out flat, dumbbell head side to side. One, good, two. So now we're isolating three, that deltoid, four. Nice, five, we'll have a pulse in the center for 20 after we finish these 30. Seven, eight, nine, you got it. 10 more, we forgot to change our feet. 10, uh, 20, 19, 18, we want to keep balanced, right? 17, 16, 15, got it. 14, 13, 12, 11. Again, don't let the arm collapse down. 10, make sure it's this nice long square. 7, 6, 5, 4, it's going right between your eyes. 3, all the way over. 2, here we go with the pulse. 20, 19, so you're pushing right between the eyes, 17, keeping everything aligned, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, and 2, and 1, lower it down, let's go to the other side, squeeze box on the other side, let's go, make sure you've changed legs and you're on your toe in the back, 1, Good, two, do the full distance, three, good, four, there's more strength in doing the whole distance, by the way, five, six, because you pull in your rhomboid, seven, which you don't do if you just go to here, you're just on the deltoid, eight, good, nine, 10, 20 more, 20, 19, you've got it, 18, 17, nice, 16, square it out. 15, keep it high, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, good, 9, you've got it, 8, 7, good, 6, right to the front, 5, do the whole distance, 4, good, 3, nice, 2, here we go, 20, right here in the middle, 19, right here, 18, 17, 16, see that line between my third finger and my elbow, 14, 13, 12, 11, you do that with the weight in it, 10, if you can, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, and 2, and 1, and bring it down. We're going to go down for triceps because we're doing a lot up at the top, so before we go down, let's uh, do some stretches that will help those shoulders and that bicep. So put your left leg forward, your right leg back, whether you mirror me or not, all right? So your right shoulder rolls, small rolls right here. Stay inside the, the rotator cuff and then forward. Good. Ooh, that feels good. Something's clicking. That's great. Now add a little bit of elbow. So you're going to come above the rotator cuff and below. And then forward, a little bit of elbow. Come on. Yeah. 
And then we're gonna include the back. And now big sweep with the bent elbow. Yeah, here we go. Try to keep yourself centered. Otherwise you compromise the stretch. Yeah. Woo, lots of crackling. Now you wanna bring your left hand across, pull that right wrist down and drop your head to the left. Away from that dropped shoulder. Bring yourself back to center, put the hand into a stop sign. Slide your other hand up and push it back if you don't have wrist concerns. This is a good stretch. And then bring it across, pressing the muscle to the chest. Don't pull your rotator cuff and then lower it down. Let's go to the left side. So actually, I can see myself in the mirror because this is stretched out. My other shoulder looks lower because it doesn't have all that opening back. So let's do the other side. So small circles first, two, three, and four, and reverse it. One inside the, inside the rotator cuff, three, and four, little elbow. One, two, and three, you're breathing, and four, forward. So when I go, that's because I'm getting a lot of oxygen into it, and four, and then big, big, big elbow. Two, whoo, three, getting that back in there, four, and then forward. One, two, and three, and four. You're gonna pull that shoulder down and take the ear to the other side. So when I was learning aerobics back in the 80s, we were all going, woo, woo. remember how we go, woo, woo. that was our sneaky way to get extra breath while we were jumping around. Come back to the center. You're gonna bring the hand into the stop sign, slide the other hand up and push it back if you can. And then take it across, uh, pressing on the muscle, not the joint. All right, now my shoulders are pretty much even. All right, let's go to the floor. Bring your heavy tricep um, weights with you. Navigate around your dog. It's gonna make Pilates pretty hard if he doesn't move. Yeah, you, you buddy, you. All right, come on down. So you wanna be able to always lift your weights in a way that doesn't pull at your shoulders or your body. So the best way always is to sit with them, holding them, and then taking them down with you. So you have that full body support as they come down. Now you're going to separate those arms to the shoulder height because, to the shoulder plane, because you don't want to pull the shoulder across while you do triceps. You're gonna move them back over your eyes, lower them behind and up. You don't move anything but those elbows that lower the weights and lift them. Good, keep it out here, good. Nice, good job, you got it, nice. Pull that belly button in to protect your back. Pretend it's Pilates, because we always want to protect our backs. Nice, good, so you're exhaling up, that's where the power is. The wrist shouldn't be rotating, right? So everything is nice and, you know, kind of strong and powerful and not wobbly, good. Now hold it at the top. I want you to drop one and as it comes up, drop the other. And so what we're getting are isolations, but we're getting them an alternation. So we get some pull across the top of the shoulders that help us as we move each of the, each of the weights. Come on. So you gotta hit your spot every time. This kind of double movement, sometimes people focus on the joint work and not on the muscle work. So I want to encourage you to work deep into that muscle. Nice, keep going. Perfect, nice. Let's do 10 more sets. Good, you got eight more. Make sure you hit your spot. Nice, and seven. Good, and six, and five, and four and three, and two, and one, and we bring the weights back to the top, and we're gonna do halfway all the way. So we lower half all the way down, half, push it up. So it makes you contract your muscle as you move through it. So you can't just slide with momentum. This makes you hold, and then again, that's a moment when you're not getting oxygen into the muscle, so the muscle has to work harder and up. 
down and down, up and up, 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 down and down, up and up. Keep going. Nice. You got it. Ugh, that feels amazing. 10 more. So we're working really hard on the muscles that support other things and the muscles that are hard to get to, right? You got seven. Good. And six. Last five. Four. Nice. Three. Perfect. Two. You got it. Hold it down here on one pulse at 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, whew, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Bring them down to the waist. Right here, beside your waist. Really, really tight, nice long hands. That means they're attached to your wrist. From the waist, push up and down. So this is a this is also a tricep push. You're pushing from the bottom of the tricep to push that weight up. We don't extend the arm all the way because we want to keep the contraction. So keep pushing. Good. This is what, keep going. This is similar to a close hand push up. So when you do a close hand push up, you're working the triceps. When you bring the weight right beside your waist, you're also doing it. So that's that close hand kind of position. Nod your chin down. Come on. They're already tired from the workout. So that's good. We're pushing them through the new thresholds. Good. 20 more. 20. So if you need to go lower, you want to sit up and put your weight down, pick up your lower weight, and then come back down. Right? Good. I, on the bench, it's more dangerous to drop them off the side, but it's really good practice, even though we're not on benches right now, to always sit up with them. I don't know what the number is, but we'll keep going. Good. Because I keep talking. You're probably like, why doesn't she stop talking? Let's do eight, seven, let's push it, six, five, four, three, two, and one. You're going to hold them there, sit yourself up, put them down, put your hands behind you, and open up your chest. This also stretches your tricep. I'm trying to give him the evil eye and it's not working. All right, so bring yourself all the way down. We're going to do our final stretch right here. So what a fast workout. I love these short days because we've got a lot done. Let's come to cactus first because that's going to open up everything that we work on the top of our body because we have, right, we have worked that frame today. We did shoulders. We did triceps. We did biceps. We worked across the deltoids, right through the top of the chest. We worked the serratus interior, right beside the chest, the adipose tissue of the chest under the underarm. Now, lift the hand to the ceiling and then lower it down. So you can feel the shoulder go all the way down. There you go. So, and we started out with all those big squats. So let's take the leg up or take, oops, that middle of my face, or take the ankle in one direction and then rotate it in another. Walk up, walk up, walk up. Big inhale and exhale and bring it as close to your nose as possible. And again. Last time. Good job. Nice, just take on to it. Try to get closer, breathe into it, follow all those kind of micro clues that are going on inside your body that say you can do more. Now lie down and just cross that leg over, like you're sitting on the couch. So you have it wrapped all the way over the other side. Bring the leg up and drop it away from the screen. And you're getting a nice stretch. Now this year, thinking, oh, spinal twist, we didn't do that many abs. We do that. It's all part of it. But what this also stretches is that shoulder, right? And then bring it up and all the way over to the other side. And here we get the lats. We can feel the lats stretching. And bring it back to center, unbend the legs, take the other leg up, rotate the ankle one direction, and then the other, walk up, walk up, walk up. Big inhale and exhale, stretch. And again, let's 
three times, and here's our third one. And hold it right there. Really dig into it. Really feel that release happening. Yeah, it's happening. The release is happening. You got it. And lower your head, cross it over. Bring your legs up, take up to one side. And then bring them up and the other. Look at that shoulder here, right there. I don't like the arms all the way out because that's a hyperextension through the uh, through the shoulder. So I like it down in a in the I call it the Virgin de Guadalupe pose right here that they have today. All right, come back to center. You're going to put your hands under your knees, open them, and rock side to side. Massage your hips. You love this. Eight, seven, six, five, four, and three, and two, and one. So drop forward with your knees, drop forward with your hand, push yourself, ooh, so close to the as I'm navigating this dog, push yourself up. I'm gonna come back here for washing machine. I'm gonna have to move them. Eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, and two, and one. Come to the center, breathe up, and down. Two more up, and down, and last time. Thank you, everybody, for coming to the short version of Body